For the second time, Pope Francis welcomed the head of the Anglican Church, Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, at the Vatican's Apostolic Palace. The Archbishop was in Rome on a three-day tour. It included a review of the progress made by the Global Freedom Network, a joint Catholic-Anglican project to counter human trafficking. It's been one of the areas of greatest cooperation between the two churches. Archbishop Welby introduced his delegation, which included two female priests. In his address to the Pope, the Anglican leader expressed his desire to achieve full communion between the two churches. He also praised their cooperation to promote peace and reconciliation. I marvel at the way that God guides frail human vessels to be bearers of the message of salvation leaving us a legacy across hundreds of years to which we in our time are called to be faithful. We also know that from the start, as for mo so many in our day, this has been a witness to death. For his part during his speech, Pope Francis asked the Archbishop not to forget the three Ps, prayer, peace and poverty, for which they must walk together, he added. The Pope also talked about their shared history, which includes not only cooperation, but also division. Non possiamo fingere che la nostra divisione non sia uno scandalo, un ostacolo all'annuncio del Vangelo della salvezza del mondo. La nostra vista non è di rado e offuscata dal peso causato dalla storia delle nostre divisioni e la nostra volontà non sempre è libera da quella ambizione umana che a volte accompagna persino il nostro desiderio di annunciare il Vangelo secondo il comandamento del Signore. They followed their speeches with a traditional gift exchange. The Archbishop's gifts were loaded with meaning. The first was a branch from a fig tree with historic roots. It comes from a fig tree planted by Cardinal Pole, the last Catholic Archbishop of Canterbury, in 1556, which is outside Lapid Palace. That tree came from the Holy Land. Let's hope that they're sweet. <laughs> no, they are. They're very good. But they need sunshine. His second gift was a copy of a register belonging to Cardinal Pole, as well as a book on the Lambeth Palace Library. Meanwhile, Pope Francis also gave the Archbishop a book, but in a much larger scale. After they exchange gifts, the two leaders walk side by side inside a chapel at the Apostolic Palace. They prayed in silence for a few minutes before an image of baby Jesus.